If you want to learn animation, that means that you will have to decide are you going to learn 2D animation or 3D animation. In this video, we are going to see the difference between 2D and 3D animation and answer the question which one is easier to learn. Now let's get started. So first of all, both 2D and 3D animation have different styles and that can affect the difficulty of the creation process. There are also other factors to look at that has a big impact on the difficulty of each one like the complexity of the project, your artistic skills, also your budget and how much time and money you are willing to spend on equipment and other resources. The main difference between 2D and 3D is that 3D is about animating your characters and objects in a 3D space. 3D is more technical than 2D. It requires you to be familiar with the tools and features that you use for your project. Also, you have to prepare your 3D model before you can start to animate it. And that comes with an advantage of course, which is that in 3D animation, you just have to position your 3D model in the first and last frame and the software you are using will figure out the in-between. Of course, you want to work more on those in-between frames to make your animation look like you want it to be. 2D animation. 2D animation, in the other hand, is the animation of your drawings on a 2D canvas. It is more artistic because it requires a large amount of illustration as every frame needs to be drawn, either on a digital tablet or hand-drawn. You can use complex tools like rigging to make the process easier, but that requires some technical skills on the software that gives you the ability to rig your 2D objects. For people that does not know what rigging is, rigging is the process of adding controllable bones to your object, so you make it easier to move them the way you want. Now let's talk about the process of creating 2D or 3D animations so you can see what is the workflow and the steps that you need to know how to create an animation. Let's start with 2D animation. Of course you are going to start by getting the ideas of your animation and how it's going to be. Then you need to turn those ideas into a script. After that, you will have to create a storyboard to get an idea of what your shots are going to look like and how long they are going to take. After that you need to lay out the environment and the scenes that the characters are going to be moving in. Then you start roughly drawing the scenes frame by frame. After that is the cleanup of the drawing and smoothing the animation. Then after the last phase of cleanup, the artist starts painting and adding colors to their drawings. Some 2D animations will have some post-production stuff too, like compositing for example. There are many 2D softwares that make this workflow easier by automating the movement of objects by keyframing attributes on a timeline or using VFX and motion tracking to speed up the process and make the animation look more beautiful. Now for 3D animation, I have a video that explains the workflow of creating a 3D animation with Blender. You can check it up up here. But let's do a small walkthrough of the steps you need to create a 3D animation. Now like 2D animation, you need to have your story and script done. It is also helpful to have some storyboards and model sheets. After that you should start to model your characters and props. Then you need to texture your models either by painting or adding procedural materials. Then you should rig them, which is adding controllable bones to them, as we said earlier. Now you start animating the characters and the environment. After this, you add the light to your scene and then render the animation. You can also further improve the visual feel of your animation by compositing and video editing. Now from a personal point of view, I think you should try both. 2D and 3D animation and then learn the one that you enjoy the most. You can even create a hybrid animation using both 2D drawings and 3D models. That's it for this video, tell me in the comments below what you think about creating 2D and 3D animations. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, goodbye.